in at six starts right now. A daring rescue mission in the treacherous confines of a flooded cave in Thailand ends successfully. Good evening, I'm Latricia Thomas. I'm Kim Chapman. All 12 boys and their coach were rescued after being trapped deep within the maze. The mission lasted a grueling 18 days and riveted people all around the world. Each of the boys, ages 11 to 16, and with no diving experience, was guided out by a pair of divers over three days. The intricate and high stakes route in some places, just a crawl space. Had oxygen canisters positioned at regular intervals to refresh each, each team its air supply. Nearly 26 years ago, a similar cave rescue happened right here in our own backyard. One man at the head of the effort looked back on the 1992 recovery with our Brittany Martin. That's right. Brittany joins us now live from near the Nickajack Cave opening to share that story with us. Brittany. Well, Trisha Kim, that rescue in Thailand took 18 days. The one here took just 18 hours, but that was long enough for people to worry that the man trapped inside might not ever come out alive. <laughs> A happy ending more than 20 years ago, similar to the one in Thailand. This man, David Gant, rescued from the Nickajack cave after he dove inside to spearfish. A, a foot from the ceiling to my head or a foot and a half, just hang on to a little stalactite. One of the men who rescued him, expert diver Buddy Lane. He took us back to the cave today. And this rescue here at Nickajack Cave was a true miracle because of all the things that came together. He says the friend David was diving with was able to swim out. David accidentally swam deeper inside the cave but was able to find an air pocket. TVA lowered the lake level 18 inches, giving him more air where he was trapped and more time for rescuers to get him out alive. Are you okay? And he looks at us and says, are you the angels here to come? and get me because he had been there so long that he was actually passing out because the pocket he was in. Lane says that's what makes this rescue similar to the one in Thailand where 12 boys and their coach were trapped for nearly three weeks. He says rescuers were racing the clock to get the boys out of this part of the cave that was running out of oxygen. This map shows the long and tough path rescuers took to get to the boys. I think it was incredibly intense. I mean they had spots in there that were so tight you know they couldn't even keep their tanks on that they had to drag them beside them or shove them in front of them. Lane says he's mesmerized by the news coverage of the rescue there. He even wishes he could have been there to help. Lane says he'll never forget the moment he returned Gant to his family members waiting for him outside the cave. There's probably 30 members of his family here all hoping and praying and thinking he had died all the time and then they see him on the boat. You can't imagine the thrill and excitement they had. Lane says he ran into Gant uh, recently for the first time since that rescue 26 years ago. He says they talked and caught up for about an hour. Reporting live in Marion County, Brittany Martin, News Channel 9. What a story. Brittany, thank you. Thai officials say the boys there will be quarantined for at least a week while they're treated and tested for infection.